Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. And it's almost not when I feel like it. I just got finished doing a killer show with Off the Wall Hockey, the GOAT, John. We were doing play-by-play. I was doing analysis. I guess that's what they call it. You know, the guy that sits there and tells you, talks about the game while the other guy commentates and does all the work. Yeah, I was the guy not doing the work. (laughs) Uh, John from Off the Wall Hockey. Go check him out. Killer, killer, killer. Play-by-play guy. He does usually about three, four games a week. Whatever's on NBC, all sports. Or, or, sorry, all games, all teams is what I'm trying to say. Get out of my yap. And uh, he's awesome. But I got done, and now it's late to do the picks. But we're going to do them anyways. Going to pull her through. Get our full 42 in there. People ask me, what do you mean by full 42? Well, you know when the hockey players or sports people or whatever... Say, oh, we just gave it, we just got to give it our full 110%. Well, I've only got 42%. So that's my, I give you my full 42. That's all I got to give. But it is the full 42, though. Full. But I give it all to you. Because you're my favorites. Okay. Subscribe, hit the bell. I'll send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace, Perlocopter. Right to your door. Unless you want a Perlo ring or a bracelet. Let me know in the uh, comment section. Which we're about to go to right now. I'm going to be giving you NHL picks. Sides and totals. For all the games. And then we're going to talk about our games from. Last night or tonight. The. Takes time. 28th. See, I never know what day it is. For the 28th, then we'll be doing picks for the 29th. Until before then, though, we're going to go look at some of the people in the comment section, which I'd love to have you do. I would absolutely love to have you go into the comment section and chat. We have so much frolic. You do like frolic, right? I should hope so. Okay, let's go. Okay, so... Ronald Sanders, every morning, said uh, that game was crazy. Then I asked him, which? Uh, Show me all the replies. Oh, yeah. Tampa Bay won. I called, he called Columbus. Messing up his money. Oh, Tampa Bay. So, Anyways, that's Kenny. Kenny comes in here all the time. Uh, I remember you saying yesterday, I he reminded me that I said that if Blackwood was in net, I liked New Jersey. And he's right, I did. And Blackwood was in net. So I didn't really lose that game. Uh, Doug Reed came in and said what he liked. Toronto, Edmonton, Las Vegas, L.A., Arizona. I liked all of those. And Arizona crapped the bet again, which we'll get into in a bit. Z- oh, we don't want to talk about that. I said don't tell anybody. ZZ Tops considered. Okay. Uh, I said don't tell anybody, so I better not tell you. Red Wings plus one and a half called that as well, too. Yeah. Okay, well, that's what we do there. We comment back and forth. There's much frolic. I like talking to you guys, so go down there and do that. All right, let's look at our picks for today. For today. For the 29th. First of all, let me make sure we're all centered here. There we go. Guys got that. There you go. Okay. Buffalo versus Boston. Boston, this is the first game back off a road, a fairly long road trip for Boston. 
I don't like taking any team in that spot. I don't, I don't, I don't, especially for this juice. My gosh, you're getting 125 for that. I'm tempted to take Buffalo PL here. I am, I am, I am. That kid, that you Laukinen kid is unreal. But the thing is, is Tuka Rask is in net apparently. Wait a second. Are they not? Are they on a back to? They're not on a back to back, are they? No. Tuka Rask. I wonder if they'll put in their backup here. If Tuka Rask is in net, I like Boston in, in regulation. And the under. The big thing here is the under. Is it five and a half? Yeah. Under five and a half. If Tuka Rask is in. But I'm really tempted to take Buffalo PL because you're getting such good juice off that. Look at or such good odds on it. You're getting 225 for plus one and a half. With Boston being on the first game back off a road trip. I'm I'm struggling with it because Boston is so good, right? I think they can keep that close. Yeah. I'm gonna take Buffalo PL at 225. That is great juice at 225. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Sticking with it. Uh, but the big thing will be the under. I'm not gonna put much on that because Boston can Boston's Boston, man. It's gonna be a tough that's a tough one to pick. So I'm changing my bet there. Sabres PO. Sabres PL. There, I wrote it down. Okay. Detroit, Carolina. Is this the one where this the first came back from a road trip? Yeah, Boston and Carolina is the first came back from a road trip against Detroit. Uh, three games and four. What was the difference about that? Yeah, I gotta go with Carolina anyways, but I wouldn't put huge on it, man. First game back from a long road trip is always tough, even if you're playing against a team that's not that great. And with Bernier in that, I wonder if they're gonna go with Nadelkovich in Carolina. I'm leaning the under and Carolina in reg. See, look at you're getting nothing for juice on this game. Again. But I can't see Detroit being able to do much. I'll take Carolina in, uh, but I'm not doing more than in regulation, which is only going to pay 150. one five zero one fifty. The under is probably the play, especially if Nedeljkovic is in that, and Bernier for Detroit. Philadelphia versus New Jersey. I don't know. Take New Jersey, I guess. Philadelphia is my team, and I'm sick of them. <laughs> That's an emotional pick, I guess. Uh, Elliot's going to be back in net again to get Blackwood. Take New Jersey. New Jersey ML. Uh, Rangers versus Islanders. I'm going with the Rangers. Uh, I'm surprised the Rangers are actually getting favorite money here, but still. I'm going with the Rangers, and should be Varlamov versus Shesterkin. I'll go with the under. Islanders can't score right now. Yeah, under. Is it? It's going to be five and a half, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I just the Islanders are just absolutely not playing well enough to back them yet right now. Uh, Washington versus Pittsburgh. I'm going to go with Washington here. They're just smoking hot right now. Uh, if Sam, especially if Sam Sonoff is in that, hopefully. Uh, and I'm going to go over five and a half. There's too much firepower here not to, even with Ovechkin being out. Uh, especially with both the way both of these teams play. What do we? It's probably six. Oh my gosh, five and a half. Yeah, over five and a half. Get on that quick. 
that line may move. Uh, Tampa Bay versus Dallas. Um, Tampa Bay looks like they're turning around. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take Tampa Bay, but I, I don't trust them. I don't trust them as far as I can throw them. I'm only MLing it at 1.61. I'm not going to go and rag on this. And as far as the score is, total is concerned, I don't like it. Uh, it could be anything here. I, I wouldn't even bother with it. Might as well take the juice if you really want to and go over five and a half, but I don't like it. Toronto versus Vancouver. I got it. They're both on a back to back. Vancouver looks absolutely done. Done, done, done. So I'm taking Toronto. Uh, hope he's going to be in that. I'm going to go under six, though. I don't even think Vancouver is going to be able to score enough for it to matter. Like, Four nothing, something like that. Toronto may just blow them right out too. It's possible, but I'm gonna lean the under on that. Even though I said over okay, on my sheet. Okay, yeah, Florida versus Chicago. Uh, I'm gonna go with Chicago here uh, with Lankin in and net. Florida's been on the road for a while. Uh, Bobrovsky, again, I don't like Bobrovsky. Chicago is getting tired. I, I could see Florida still taking that. They just beat Nashville in a very emotional game. This just feels like they could overlook Chicago here a little bit. Uh, yeah, they're playing three games in four nights, and Chicago has just played two, and they've been at home. Uh, Drigger, yeah, it's going to be Bobrovsky. Yeah, I'm just kind of leaning to Chicago. I think the big play is the over, though. It's the total on that one that I really like. Um, over six. So many scores in here. If they play Lankinen and Bobrovsky, Lankinen's been struggling as of late. If they play Subban, I'll probably switch to Florida. But I won't be putting much on the side. I'll be looking more towards the total. Minnesota versus St. Louis. Minnesota imploded. And I had a gut about St. Louis, but I didn't go with it. Now it's going to be Kakinen versus uh, uh, their St. Louis's backup. I always forget his name. I always want to say high note. But that's not it. Because that was a player that played for Colorado back in the day. Um, all I know is over. Well, again, I'm more on the total here, especially at five and a half. Absolutely over. And I'll lean to Minnesota. Uh, Edmonton versus Calgary. I'm going Calgary. Edmonton is on a back-to-back. -back. Uh, Calgary is on a... Uh, it's, this is just a hunch. I just have a hunch that Calgary takes this on a back-to-back. -back. Edmonton's not a good, tired team. Um, but I'm not really sure about that. And I would probably go the under here. That would be probably the better play. Under on six. So a lot of totals going on today. Okay, that's our full 42. I hope that helps you out. Uh, help me out. Comment in the comment section. I like talking to people. Also, I have a show between 3 and 5 Eastern on this channel where we do picks and all of those sort of things um, and talk about hockey in general. There's much frolic. We all have a wonderful time. Uh, love to see you there. Okay. Now I'm going to talk about the games from last night. So if you have to go, head off. Head off to other lands. It's okay. It doesn't bother me. Doesn't hurt me at all. Nope. 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 Okay, it does a little bit, but that's all right. I'll get over it. Okay. So the first game we had the over, which was good. We had I had the Senators and the over in the video that we did. 
Then Demko went in, and I went out of my head and switched it from my patrons to Canucks. So it was a wash, pretty much. Yeah, it was a wash. Uh, we had the over here as well for larger than... Oh, let me make sure that this is... There we go. Move over here. Okay. Okay, we had the over for Blues and Wild. Uh, we had the Wild, though. But we were still up. We're up about a unit and a bit. Because we had a larger bet on the over and a smaller bet on the under. Canadians and the Leafs. Huge pearls on the Leafs. This was my pick of the day. Perlo's pick of the day on Patreon. Uh, we I had... The Maple Leafs in regulation for five. It's plus money play over five units. Probably six, close to six, six pearls on this one. Except we lost one pearl on the under. Oh, well. So five pearls. What are we up? Six, some, seven pearls, something like that. Oilers versus Jets. We had the Oilers. And we had the over. But we had the bigger bet on the Oilers. So uh, we're up another pearl there. Golden Knights versus Avalanche. I had, uh, we had the over and we had the Golden Knights. So perfect there. We're up about nine pearls. This one screwed us up. I had the Kings. Was that for large? Let me go over to my Patreon here. This is, I, I'll show you quickly here what I do. There's some tennis picks for you. Kick butt at tennis. Make lots of money on tennis. Uh, no, okay. No, it wasn't for large. It was one pearl. So, no, that was that. No, where's the LA pick? We're looking for the LA pick. Kings over ducks. That yeah, was for large. Yeah, that's right. In reg yet. And we had, was it over? No, it was under too. So we lost about, we lost uh, three and a half units there. So what were we up? Nine. Now we're up five and a half. And we lost here too. But we had, no, no, we didn't, sorry. We only lost a unit because we had the over, which was five and a half. And we had the Coyotes for, did I go large on that? Medium. No, I had under five and a half. Okay. So we had two, so we lost three. So we're up three and a half pearls for the day. Not bad. We're up. That's the big thing. We're up again. Every day, we're up, right? That's how we make money. That's why you go over to Patreon, sign yourself up. I'll give you a free month. You can check it out for yourself. See for yourself that we make money on it. And, uh, yeah, and, and just the frolic alone. You'll love it. You'll love it. So that's what I do. Oh, I didn't show you that. Um, I'll show you real quick this too. View. I do write-ups. Oh, that was a small write-up. I want to show you a bigger write-up than that. There we go. View. Senators over Canucks ML. And the over pays five and a half. See, I give you a little write-up and synopsis. Usually they're even longer than this. Uh, but I give you as much information as I have in my head as I tell you why uh, I picked what I picked. Okay, so you get killer information and all that. Head over there and enjoy the fine frolic at my Patreon. And until then, comment in the comment section because I like talking hockey. That's my full 42. Have a great day. Okay, bye.